just want to um, probably recap on our 4495 GVM on our 79 series dual cab. Uh, I still get a lot of questions. There's a lot of um, information on the website, etc. But a lot of questions on on what is required to be able to get a vehicle to handle four and a half ton GVM. Also, the fact that we do the four ton or four and a half ton tow upgrade, depending on whether you're auto or manual. But what what we need to do in that space to bring these vehicles to be the ultimate touring vehicle with that sort of weight, you can't just grab suspension out of a, a car that's suited for 3.8, uh, four ton, and then just throw that into a four and a half ton car and go, that's gonna work. The same as your coil springs and that sort of stuff. The coils and shocks need to be designed and valves specifically to be able to handle it. The other big issue that we see is a lot of shocks on the market and, and it's like everything, there's a lot of great shocks on the market, you know, um, across the range. However, if a shock's not designed to do the specific outcome that you're acquiring from it, um, then it won't work. So the reality of it is, is a lot of GVMs might have rear axle loads of, of two ton, you know, 2.2 ton, whatever. When you start stepping up into 2.8, 3, 3 ton axle loads, you're now requiring a lot more effort from that shock absorber to control the back of that car. Um, so you can't just grab shocks out of any car and go, well, can I use this shock? Can I use that shock? Um, you know, and the same with coils. So in our 4495 GVM, what we've done obviously is the chassis extension. However, it's not a traditional chassis extension where we've cut the car, stretched the car, and, and, and made it longer. The problem you've got with these guys is they are designed at 3.3 ton. So as we keep raising the GVM on these cars and the expectation, you need to start strengthening components. And you'll see that on a lot of 200 series, they have like a quite a big chassis. 79's not so large. So you have to start doing strengthening to make these cars not only carry the weight, but drive really well as well. So um, now obviously we do the full replacement rear chassis so that we can strengthen that, that chassis. But we also do the extra bracing right up through the rails, uh, not to mention the increased tow capacity. So we have the rear tow bar system incorporated in the chassis. So when we come to coils, obviously just because a car can carry four and a half ton, it shouldn't be a brick to drive in. Now, people say, well, could, would we do a leaf spring suspension at four and a half ton? Technically you could, however, it wouldn't be a great vehicle because as we all know, if you're going to run leaf springs, you need to have a certain amount of constant load. You can't, same with our 4.2 ton, you can't ask for a 4.2 ton GVM on leaf and then drive the thing around at 3.3 ton. The springs don't work. Springs are designed to carry load. The more load you wanna carry, the heavier the leaf pack has to be, so hence, ride quality, um, shackle angle, all those things will suffer because they need to have constant load. So when customers come to us and say, I need a GVM upgrade, the first question we ask is, is it constant load? Is it gonna be partial load? How are you gonna use the car as to whether leaf suspension is even gonna work for you or coil will be the optimum suspension for what you require. So with a coil suspension in these guys, we build a custom armored progressive so they've actually got a nice soft top in them, so they will ride really well empty, but then they have a very high end rate to support that load. So for these guys here, empty or loaded makes no difference, all to do with the design of the armoured coil. So this guy here, uh, it's just a chassis alone, no weight, but you can see actually how compliant that is without any load. However, as you start to compress that spring, that spring rate literally doubles quite quickly um, and becomes able to sustain that load. Um, you know, things like bigger sway bars, uh, systems to give more stability. But the big catch for these guys is shock absorbers. You've got to have a shock absorber that's designed for this application, for this axle load. So what we've got for our 4.45 ton GVM, our starting range is our Pro Series shock, which is um, 
a shock made by Iron Man, revalved specifically and designed specifically to suit our four and a half ton. Then we step up into our Kings and our J Max Alpha series, which are both adjustable. So these guys here, 61 mil bore, 63 mil bore, both have adjustability. Um, but the reality of it is, is these guys have been designed for that outcome. So when you do all your testing and data, you want to make sure that these cars can, you know, pass a brake test, pass stability test, and do the job safely and well. Grabbing random parts, uh, having customers come and say, well, if I just give you my shocks, it doesn't work like that. Everything has to be as per test data and engineering. So to give you the safest, safest optimum vehicle that you're gonna to get to be able to carry that load. So there's quite a lot that goes into four and a half ton. Um, so when you're looking at your options as to what vehicle you wanna buy, how heavy you're gonna be, you've really gotta start doing your own homework, working out what works for you. Customers come to us and say, well, I'm not really heavy, but they'll buy, oh, I want the biggest GVM. Well, buying the biggest GVM won't necessarily be the right product for you. So you gotta work out what your loads are, what you're towing, all that sort of stuff. So you've gotta do your own homework in that space. On our website, you can go through all the ranges of what we do and work it out. But, you know, we see a lot of customers who've bought not a bad product, but the wrong product for them because they've gone through, bought a big heavy leaf GVM, turn around and go, well, I'm driving around with an empty tray half the time. Well, it doesn't work. So understanding that before you make your purchase or before you go down that build path of your truck, that's what's important to understand. The other one is, is have a look at what's included in your GVM. So, you know, a good comparison is, well, here's a company that does 4.2 ton GVM, um, and it's five or six grand. Here's a company that does one and it's 25 grand. What are you getting in those things? Track correction, brake upgrade, chassis strengthening, wheels and tires, exhaust clutches. A good example is a clutch. We won't do a GVM over 3.9 without a clutch. The clutch, the factory tried a clutch, while it works really well for the factory vehicle, it is not suited to bigger wheels and tires, power upgrades and big GVMs and maintaining tow capacities. You just can't get that rolling mass moving with that clutch successfully. So all those things are what counts at the end of the day. At the end of the day, when you're building a car, most guys will end up spending money on, now my brakes need doing, now my clutch needs doing. So doing it all as one package properly in the beginning can be a benefit. So uh, just a quick rundown on that to give you guys a little bit more feedback, um, just based on the questions that we're seeing every day.